Hi everyone, welcome to Disley Sisters Knitting Podcast. I'm Linda. I'm June. And we both knit. June's the sewer, so she makes all the project bags. I crochet. We both crochet though, don't we? Yeah. But I don't crochet as good as she does. Oh, thank you. Um, but kind of, we realise we do a lot more knitting than crochet, don't we? Yeah. So we we will showcase some crochet. I've got some crochet to share with you. Today is we're sharing um, July and August's finished projects because we took August off as you know. We um, went away to the Black Sheep Wolves retreat and we've spent time with family and together and uh, yeah we've just enjoyed summer. We just needed that break didn't we? Yeah yeah yeah. So um yeah, so we're going to start with July's finished project. So this is all about our finished projects. And after we've shown them all, we'll have a little chat and tell you what we've got coming up in September. Which is another busy month for us, isn't it, June? Yeah. We're so excited, but we'll tell you that. So I have got three finished projects. How many of you got, June? Two. I've got two. Would you like me to go first? Well, you go first and I'll root for the picture. Okay. So... My first finished project is um, sorry, a pair of socks by um, Nancy from Knit Sip Happy. These were her, this was a sock pattern for breast cancer, and every year um, for breast cancer, Nancy um, designs a sock. And all the proceeds from um, the patterns which she sells all go to the charity. And she raised a heck of a lot this year. So I know I bought my pattern, but I also gifted a couple of people the pattern as well, just to up the help, you know, breast cancer. So as you can see, these are called Titty Gaga. And I've used, um, the yarn is from... Beehive Yarns, one of my sock kits from last year, and um, it's a really nice pattern. These are for me, as you can tell, because they're only little. And um, a 64, I do a 20, 20 rows on the rib, um, knitting into the back stitch, and then I've done about six, I think I've done about six, six patterns, then the I always like my favourite is always and these socks fit me and hubby is the heel flap and because I've tried others and they don't fit as well but this does anyway yep so that is my first finished project for July and what have you finished June? right so one of mine is I haven't got it to show you but I did get permission off mum and dad and of course little legs to show you the picture of hair in one of the cards I made. If you remember, I made a, a vest um, in James Seabrett driftwood. Yeah, so soft. I had like two, 200 gram balls left, didn't I? Mm. So I made little legs for, for her birthday to go with the outfit she's got on and made her that cardigan. If you can see her, that's my little legs with big sis behind her. Yeah. And she absolutely, when she, I made her three, as you know, and um, when she opened them, she was so made up with them. So this day she got up and she said that she was wearing what Nanny made and she wore the complete outfit for me. Oh. So yeah, so made up with that. that She's got beautiful. some attitude though, hasn't she? Oh God, yeah. She's three going on 30. Yeah, but won't, won't lose the dummy. Um, no, not yet, but she's gone into um, preschool now. Mm -hmm. She's been in the baby class now. She's gone up into the next one now. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the dummy will go for a bit. Yeah. Hopefully. So my next finished project is, um, it, it's a long-standing one that I started in June of 2023. Um, I did do a tutorial for this, which um, this is my star flower motif. And I did do a tutorial on how to make this star flower. Um, I made, use three, I use cotton and I made uh, a doily with um, seven of them, one in the middle and, and round to make um, a doily and then I used a DK cotton and made one just a singular to make, which 
became a coaster. So then I had um, leftover yarn from um, J Hook Crochet's um, advent from 2022, I think it was, or 20, no, 2021. And I decided to make, use it to make this. It's like um, just a throw and I'm absolutely over the moon with it. As you can see, I just had enough to finish off the last round. So it was all the same. So I'm really, really happy. Um, but, so this, I finished this actually on the 21st of June. So it took me a year. <laughs> Although it, it has been in and out of um, thing, uh, out of, but I'll just show you the star flower. I will link the tutorial below for you and um, it's so easy to make and then you use your, your flower points to join them together and that is all in the tutorial I show you how to do that and uh, so that's my second finished project for July I didn't get much done in July I don't know why but it was just one of those months I think I frogged a few didn't I? I yeah, yeah. a few that I, I just wasn't happy with and I wasn't enjoying and at the end of the day our hobby is all about enjoyment and if, if something is not bringing you joy you just frog it and use it for something else it just wasn't happy at being the project it should have been or gifty yeah or gifty <laughs> which yeah so my I've only got two this month it, for July sorry Yes, you make I work to make you? a batch. Yeah. So if you remember, um, I was on Black Sheep Wall's page and noticed that they had a knitting pattern. And as you know, little legs' name is Lyra, and the team the sweater was called Lyra. So I thought, oh yeah, I've got to make that omen. Got to make it. Got to make it. So I did, and I finished it, and I've worn it, and I think I've done a video of it, haven't I? I think you have. I yeah, think we've a got short, a short. Yeah. If you go back th so through the, the short pattern. history, history. How beautiful is that pattern? That lace. It is lovely. With loads of holes in the lace. Eyelets, guys. I see that get on Linda's nerves. Eyelets, the eyelets. And I used um, the yarn. Um, good old fashioned double cap DK. No dye because I bought it in a pack, the full pack, didn't I? Yeah. Was there eight in the pack or six? I think there was six. Six in the pack. And um, I got it from the Newbury show. Beautiful, beautiful. And I've still got that and 200 gram balls of yarn left. Yeah. So every every time I get it, I get like six. And I always end up with two and a half left, don't I? So yeah. it's absolutely beautiful. That's and nice. it fits lovely. Yeah. Mm. And I'll put the link to the short. I'm, I'm almost certain there's a short yeah. for that one. And am I going to make it again? Let me see. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. So, yeah, so that's my, they're my only two projects for and My last finished project is this. Um, this is from my stash. And uh, I've had it, oh, I think I've had this for two years. And these are for Rick, my Rick. He's going to get a new, nice new pair of socks. Um, he likes them and he keeps asking me when he can have them. And I said, well, you can't until June and I have done our finish. No, <laughs> our finish job. Because I'm not showing them a pair of socks that you've worn. So this is yarn that I bought from my very first show, which was in Leeds. Yarn show, and this is, I think this was called steampunk. Anyway, I'm calling it steampunk. So it's kind of the the nice kind of teal and brown, and um, yeah, the same for Rick. Oh, and I've, the, the only thing that's different is I've done a two by two rib, twenty rows, sixty four is Rick, and I do sixty rows of um stocking stitch do the heel flap and gusset and then just work it to fit his feet so yeah so uh, that's a pair of my second pair of socks and colors look lovely together. i know they do my favorite my favorite colors together are blue and brown mm -hmm. i just absolutely love it i think it's it's so pretty so yep yeah, so that's my third finished project for july so how many of you got in three? 
in August and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six. Would you like me to go first? Yeah, yeah, you, you'd be better off doing two to my one, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. So, guys. I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you wig, plus yes. you make our, our yes. project bags, and we've been really busy with orders for project bags, haven't we? Oh, God, yeah, because um, we sold everything we had. Yeah, yeah, we did. We, we've had a really good, um, so June's working her little fingers off to, yeah. to get the proper. So, you all know I'm a big, big fan of um, Stephen West, and so is June, and I love socks, I love making socks, and he... Last year, for some reason, I just didn't take part in his surprise sock along. But this August, I did. And, oh, there they are. There's a look and put them. And I took on this, Amanda. I know. These are called the Popportunity Socks. And I absolutely enjoyed this so much. I enjoyed from start to finish. It took me outside of my comfort comfort zone. It was the pops of colour which I chose, which is all from Stash. The grey is from Botanical Yarn. And then these are minis from my Stash. And I absolutely enjoyed. I kept up with him all the way through the four... It was four weeks, wasn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah, so I started these on the 9th of July and I finished them on the 1st of the 8th. So um, the last clue came out on the Tuesday and I'd finished them by Friday. I absolutely, I absolutely love them. I think they are just amazing. And these are another pair of socks for Rick. He doesn't know yet, but yeah. No, they look nice in. What? Like a rain. Like a blue, mm -hmm. and then all the all the other colours in, like a brown, a beige, and a, yeah. a cookie colour. Oh yeah, so you could do where the grey is, is, it's blue. Yeah, and the rest and all browns and beige. Different and shades of uh, brown, brown and beige. That's yeah. a good idea. That, but yeah. anyway, love, 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 love me some Stephen West. Absolutely love him. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. It took me outside my comfort zone, made me work for it. And the result is just amazing. So I'm not sure whether they'll fit Rick. They might be too big, but we can try. Because I think they are a bit too big for Rick. Oh, yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, so that is my first finished project. Shall we go and have another go? Yeah, you might as well win. So the next one is I'm building up my our stock for... Um, beanies and fingerless gloves so i made this hat um i kind of really like the hats that have got the um the brim let me just get this on there we go i'm not a lover of hats but i'm really pleased with the she's laughing at me guys do you know what I when I put this on I always think of Benny from Crossroads. Oh yeah, I remember him. <gasps> he, went, he wore a hat for yeah, everything, hat. yeah. So anyway, so I continued the pattern from the the hat, which is like um a very easy. So I did that and I made a pair of fingerless gloves. And this is um this is the dk this is a dk but this is a, a four weight which is um an hour and all there we go so i made some fingerless gloves to go with the hat so that's my second project yeah acrylic yarn really nice really cozy and uh, i think it looks really nice i'm really pleased with it so um, that's my second project for august right what's your first one from August. So mine is, and as you know, I talked to all my knitting patterns. Um, it's a King Cow double knit 5635. This all one? The, yeah. All the links will be in the description box below of all that we've talked about today. So I started this and I thought, oh, that's lovely that. And I was halfway up the front and I said, Do you like it, Linda? It looks lovely, doesn't it? She went, 
You do know there's supposed to be cables in it, don't you? No, it cables. Where does it say cables there? Look, just I can't see cables. No, there is. If you look closely, there's cables. June does not do cables, guys. Don't, don't do cables. So this yarn was gifted to me from Sarah, from Sarah Green, the lovely Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is Sarah Green. Yeah, it is Sarah, yeah. Sarah, Sarah Green, Green yeah. lovely Sarah, from Knitting on Knitting Natter Group. Um, and it's Hayfield Spirit. I haven't got a clue what colour it is because I couldn't find the band. But, da -da. So I just did, as you know, don't like, don't like holes here. Just here, don't mind them there. So I've done them a section of four there, and then I've done a section of four on the arms. Looks lovely, Absolutely. really nice lovely. autumnal, yeah. and it look really suits it. Yeah. And we have done a short on that as well. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. if you go to uh, under the heading shorts, all um, there'll be shorts of June's. There's quite yeah. a few sweaters yeah. that we've done shorts of. of yeah. Your... And the amount of comments I've had about it, it's unbelievable. People. Yeah telling me it looks lovely i went shopping one day this woman come up to me she went to me can i just say that's beautiful so autumnal and i said oh, thank you she said, where did you buy it from and i said didn't i made it she said oh my god it's beautiful i was like oh thank you very much thank you so yeah plain back as usual pattern on the front mm -hmm. very cozy and mm -hmm. uh, sleeves come to there i haven't done them it's supposed to be long but I've done them to my elbow mm -hmm. and then usually up to here sometimes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, really proud of myself. Yeah, yeah it's gorgeous. It really and as you can see, nice. no cables. <laughs> I was like, cables? Are you sure there's cables in the pattern? She was like, yeah, June, if you looked at the pattern, I was like, yeah, yeah. It's just a block of four. And then when I look closely, oh yeah, it is cables. <laughs> I do do cables. <laughs> oh dear. So my one of the my finished projects is sarah from so no not sarah sophie from botanical yarns put a call out for sample test knit and i did the clint shawl for her and um so i have done a short on it Sophie's done a short on it as well. It's been part of a podcast that she did with Fiona um, and I have done a short. So I did make the Clint Shawl by Natasha Hornby. Um, it was a totally different way of making the shawl but it was fun and um, she broke it down into bit into the bite-sized chunks that's similar to the way um Stephen West does his so I really really enjoyed it um and um she was absolutely made up with it so I, I will put the link to the short if you can't find it but it's it's um it was lovely wasn't it yeah, it was peaceful really nice and Sophie um obviously dyed the yarn and the pink yarn the fluorescent pink reminded me, I, I, you all know that I was a mixed media artist and I used paints. Um, one of the paint main manufacturers was called Cadence who were based in Turkey and did a workshop there. And one of their fluorescent paints, which was absolutely amazing and it kind of like two-toned, it, it, it was like almost two tones of pink, but it wasn't, it was the fluorescent pink and that, yarn which Sophie dyed just reminded me of that paint because it was one of the paints that I really liked. I'm not a pink person but I really like this particular paint and the dyeing of that yarn was amazing. Wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. The, there was orange, there was, um, was it yellow or green? No it was yellow, a fluorescent yellow yeah, green and yeah. then the pink and it was just yeah. worked absolutely Useful. amazing yeah. yeah so that is that finished project so shall we do we both finished we worked together we started these on the um 11th of july mm -hmm. you finished yours a few oh i finished mine well before linda yes she did that. everyone so we used we've made the the shift by Andrea Maori. We both used a Schlepel, um Edition 3 yarn 
Um, we used one colour was the same, which I think so was was the blue. The blue. Yeah. The blue was we got we both got the same blue. And then we both picked different colours. So you yeah. stayed mainly with blues, didn't you? And like brownie colours. Yeah. yeah. And then I had the, I think this is called Impala Beach. I couldn't tell you the numbers, but wow, guys, yeah. amazing. And the, amount of, yeah. and the amount of people that have made these. And, and every single one's different. And the different, honest, there's a couple of women in the Knit and Nasa, they've made three each. And their yarns are just so different. Like that. Where that where my where it's got the purple and the green that wasn't on my ball was it? Mm -hmm. It was only when I, I went I got closer and closer to to like the end that it started to come yeah. through. Well, it's beautiful, and then mine had kind of both um B and C yarns kind of were more or less the same tone, which I think I I, I like this because it's kind of darker up here yeah. and then light, and then it goes dark again. So I'm really, really enjoyed this making this. Yeah, let me put them on. Yeah, just see, looks really, really pretty. So really nice. We've washed them and we have blocked them no, as well. I didn't wash and block them. She washed and blocked. I them. washed and blocked. Should should correct myself. Yeah. So I mean, you can fold that in. You don't need to have it. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. But so, I'm I'm going to be gifting the mine. Yeah, mine's going to be a Christmas present as well yeah so yeah gifting them i think yeah we're going to gift them yeah and yeah, yeah. so beautiful yes. beautiful so my last my last finished project is the cavat Su uh, summer tea by caitlin hunter from boyland fibers i think they're called anyway the list and I've used babe, um, Baby Merino, Drops Baby Merino uh, in brown and pink. And I just love it. You can see the pattern. And I've done, I've worn it with a shirt. I, I think I've done a short. I have, I've done a short where I put it over a pink and white striped shirt. And it come just where I wanted it to and it is lovely i've washed and blocked it you can see the baubles i mean june's going to do this but she's not going to do the they're not color. called baubles or do they call bubbles bubbles sorry she's the thinking bubble. of christmas we've just been to home and bargain you're talking about the 4th of september and you've got all the christmas baubles oh, on yeah. <laughs> holy me yeah. holy moly so yeah so i think you're going to do yours in greens aren't you yes like i'm not a full mint more like a sagey mint sagey yeah. green and a dark bottle green aren't i yeah yeah so for there she's just 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 going to knit it she's not doing the color i'm not going to do the color work i'm just going to do it in the the dark darker green this all the rest of it where linda's done the brown i'm going to do like the sagey green and then this is going to be the dark and the same name I, I will do the bubbles because i do love little bubbles so yeah i will be doing that yeah. but mine will be to totally different to linda's so that's that's mine so that's my last finished project for august and i've already finished three projects so far for september september i haven't finished any i think i finished three or have i finished two i can't remember i might have three finished for the end of september yeah. right last one <laughs> Love, 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 love Stephen West. Love and who do you thank for introducing Linda. you to? Linda, I made the Brian Eight. Remember watching a film, um, a video of him, and he was knitting this at the time, and I was like, "Oh my God, what's that jumper he's making?" And he was like, "This is going to be uh, the pattern's going to be out at the end of February." You know, it's. It's one of my new knits, and I was like, oh, my God. So when we FaceTimed, I said to Linda, go on it. Have you watched his video? No, I haven't watched it. Go watch his video. He's making a lilac jumper. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous pattern. It's a new pattern coming out. I used Wendy Blood Orange. Of course, I adopted it. My name's June. <laughs> I adopted it. Then... 
And I am I wearing it when we're in Amsterdam? Of course we are. Of course I am. I'm going to show him how I adapted it. If I see him. So this is my Bryony. So proud of myself. I know. It's so I've just so passed mine on. So proud. Look at them. And my favourite stitch, which I am going to request him to make a jumper in it, is that one. This dip three. Absolute. So easy. Dreading making it. Mm -hmm. because I've never done anything like this dread making it had a little bit of a hiccup on the bright on the brioche didn't I brioche yeah. brioche but like come to Linda of course and I said I can't get my head around it so she sat with me and I did it and after that plain sailing lovely love 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 gorgeous love it. isn't it guys gorgeous so, am I gonna make another one yes of course maybe not this year but no. I will make another one because yeah. I've got far too many things that I need to, uh, that on me on my list to make. Mm -hmm. But I've worn this once. Worn, oh no, I have more this year. I'm saving this Amsterdam. for Amsterdam. Yeah, beautiful. So Amsterdam. Beautiful. Yes. So that's all we've made over the past two months because obviously we didn't do a video in August um, because. We went on the retreat. We went on the retreat and then we took August off and whatever yeah. and we've done short. Shift patterns changed, didn't they? Yeah. In work. And your yeah, so yeah. it's kind of, you know, swings and roundabouts at the moment. But this month, in two weeks, we are going to Amsterdam. And uh, we're going to go on Stephen and Penelope's shop and we've saved up and we've just seen the go go dynamo the mm, mcal for yeah. this year for the show has been announced he brought that up and um we showed he did a short showing them all running around the art uh, around the shop picking and putting out um people's orders putting together. orders together and june and i are going to purchase our yarn for the M cow while we're at the shop as well as as well as a sweater a quantity sweater. Yeah. of yarn as well we've yeah. got to decide on the sweater yet yeah we're not done that yet no. but um yeah we're going to get a sweater quantity on didn't we? realize he had so many different sweaters yeah because we went on didn't we mm. and we just like he's got a basket weave one oh mm. yeah. it's lovely so yeah so we're going to sit together and go through all and decide which pattern we like purchase it and then sort out what yarn we need yeah. and what what colors i mean he's um, he's got oh. loads of different colors he's shown as me and mm -hmm. it's just like do i go safely or do i go out my comfort zone and yeah yeah i think go go dynamo i think it's got to be um Obviously, your comfort zone. Yeah, definitely out comfort zone. Mm -hmm. I, I'd like a, like a dark colour, but I'd like a really In pop face, of colour. Yeah. You know, one yeah. colour that's like, wow, you yeah. can see it coming, yeah. thank. Um, and mm -hmm. some of the kits that he's put together and the different dyers that have made the, you know, the yarn for, yeah. for the mystery knit along is amazing. And can you believe, guys, it's his 15th year. I mean, how, you know, how that man comes up with the the different styles and designs of the shawls is just mm. um i mean I, this is going to be my third year i started doing the uh, mystery knit along for the twists and turns and then last year's uh, and that so um excuse me a minute We're doing a live. We'll be down in a minute. Sorry, that's Hubby just telling us that he's having his dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Okay. Yeah. So we're so excited. We've got things coming up. We've got a show at the end of the month, which we've got we've got, got to get ready for. Um, obviously, we're going away as well. And so we're busy. June's busy at work and doing the sewing. I'm busy doing my side of things for, for the show as well. So Not just making the bags. I'm... I'm Fixing James's palm dresses as well, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, she's a very busy girl. No, no bags. 
No bags to show you today. No, but we've got no bags for the show, have we? Oh, no, no. We've only got a couple. Yeah. Because, yeah, because we but sold. not our major ones. Not yeah. our major ones. Yeah. Because we sold. Quite a few. Well. Yeah, so we really... All the main ones. Uh, yeah, I've gone. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, so busy, busy, busy. Yeah. We hope you all had a lovely summer. We did. We had a nice summer, didn't we, June? Yes. Yeah. Um, we just chilled, did what we needed to do, and just relaxed and yeah. enjoyed. Yeah. And if we knitted, we knitted. If we didn't, we yeah. didn't. It was just one of those things. We didn't have a show to do last month either. So it was kind of a nice recharge our batteries and just have us time as well. Yeah, wasn't just it? have us time with our yeah. hubby and you know our hobbies and that so yeah, yeah it was nice but yeah. now we're back yeah yeah so the next video will be in a fortnight and that'll be we'll share with you our weeks in progress and hopefully we'll do um a, we'll do um, a separate video of the bags that june's made yeah because we've got new material haven't well yeah some of it's new yeah and some of it's like the last yeah of, of what we've got of yeah it. yeah and hopefully i'm going to be designing is it two two new ones uh-huh yeah two new ones yeah so yeah so anyway we're going to love you and leave you there thank you all so very much for all your support over the past few months for leaving your comments we've tried to keep you entertained with our short videos which we've received lots of lovely comments oh, yeah. haven't we yeah. thank you all so very very much thank you for supporting us for leaving comments for even if you can't leave a comment leaving a thumbs up they all help us with the algorithm of yeah. youtube and so thank you for that and um, without further ado take care everybody stay safe but more importantly be, be kind, kind to you, you. And for, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.